Hello friends, today we are going to be looking into how to get and assert element text in Cypress. Before moving this topic, I just requesting you to all kindly subscribe Natasa Tech channel and share to all, give your valuable comments, click on bell icon for getting all upcoming videos. Now we are moving back to the concept. So for asserting this get text, first I have to create test case file. So under test case folder, you just right click on, click on new file, you have to create test case file. Asset, asset get text dot js. So now I have to create class structure to asset get text. Successfully created the class structure. Next, we have to start the uh, steps, automation steps. So now I have to use Amazon.in application for that automation scenario. After hitting this URL, first step is we have to launch the application. Launch app. cy dot so sometime unfortunately when you are typing cy the cypress will be imported in that case you just remove and you just type only cy alone put reset single quotes you just mention that url next method is next step is click on return so click on returns. Here I'm going to be tell you how to use XPath also. In my previous video, I told you how to install XPath plugin. The continue of this video, you just to get into know how to use XPath and as well as how to verify the get text value. Cy dot XPath. So next, you have to give that XPath. I just to inspect this element. ID have to take ID. Matched element is one. So sometime what happen after put dot uh, entering the a text x path it will be showing the succession method okay so in that uh, case you just to get confirmed the x path is successfully installed so sometime that loading process not properly in that case it is not uh, showing that succession method in that case no problem you just uh, directly use that x path method click action So after clicking on this return, we are getting the sign in page. There, I have to click on continue button. For that, also have to use XPath. Take ID, input ID equal to continue. Copy this whole XPath. Click on continue cy.xpath so now we are getting the suggestion method right next we have to provide text path one dot click so after clicking continue button what happen we are getting this alert content you just to inspect this alert content how to take this alert content div class 
not contain matched element is two. In that case, I just directly take this whole message copy div contains text remove the space matched element is one. You just to verify whether the matched element is one or more than one. So there get error message cy dot xpath so here I have to validate this error message what is the method available in Cypress there is method called should if you if you want to matching any two text or two value uh, look like uh, asset condition there uh, we can use should method so after storing xpath inside xpath method you just put dot define should method inside should method there is a different function is available so here how to use have dot text why i'm defining have dot text what is the purpose of uh, called this one the text going to be a refer this error message there is a different function is available have dot text have dot value have dot lint so it depends upon your validation you just use this uh, function inside should method so after this is the actual text it is referring this error message what is the expected message you just pass expected message what you have seen inside application i just to copy this message You just put here so this is actual actual result this is the expected result so this is the four steps we are done inside test case file now I have to create main method for executing this all the steps for that you can find runner class folder inside runner class folder you just create main class new file so assert get text dot js so now we have to define describe function describe just to provide some string uh, sentence assert get text validation Put comma call function close this describe next it function there also have to provide a string sentence set get text get text that's it enough you just to put simply here function you just close this it function also so you just to remove this one because when you are uh, defining this describe uh, default it will be um, imported that uh, uh, concept uh, variable in that case you just remove now i have to call all the test case file method so concept i have to create object for this test case to for calling all the method concept asset text equal to new tc to asset text So next asset text dot launch app. Next asset text dot click on returns. Next asset text dot 
click on continue method next asset text dot get error message this is the four steps we have to uh, already uh, defined inside test case 25 so i uh, just to confirm we have to export this all this class file so end of this class you should define export export default tc2 because this uh, keyword only going to be um, useful for exporting this whole class inside main class file so then we are successfully uh, called all this method of this test to uh, class file method now i have to define the path of this tc2 uh, file path inside main class how i can do use import import what is the class name tc to asset get text from what is the path of this asset get text class file name you just to put double quotes put dot you just mention relative path of this class file what is the folder name test cases then you have to give class name now we are successfully import this tc2 class file inside main class this is the main class structure for executing this uh, test case two steps now we are done i am going to be execute this class new terminal now i am going to be open test runner for that you just use this command cypress open it will be take few seconds for opening this cypress test runner window now opening you just hide this examples so the main class available inside runner class you just double click on this asset get text so the tc2 asset default is not constructor so what is why this error we are getting i just close this terminal i just save it So before I didn't save, I just save it. I just close this window. See automatically after saving, see that steps going to be uh, start to executing, right? See, click on continue button. It will be validating this asset uh, that a message. So what is that error? enter it is uh, asserting but that error message containing space so for that see asset expected as a lot content enter mobile number but the text what the slash and mentioning the space so go to editor open this method Save it. Oh, sorry. I just save. I just open Chrome. See again. The execution started. See. Now it will be executed successfully. The expected and the actual both are matched. So this is the way we have to get the text so in selenium we are using get text method in cypress uh, we can use should method inside should method we can use um, have dot text function this okay just to open. instead have dot text we have to uh, give this expected result so the should method going to be validate that actual result and expected result
so this is the way we can get the text from the element and as well as we have to um, put asset condition for validating the text okay so i hope you are understanding how we can uh, get and assert uh, the text in cypress thank you guys